Oh, hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, Chairman here. So basically what I wanted to do, just kind of for the older riders out there. Um, I've been riding a long time, and I've had a lot of good success with it, and it's really helped me out. So basically what I want to talk about is just basic stretching. Because um, every time I come out and ride, I always come out and I, I warm my body up. For instance, when the moment I leave my vehicle to the point I get to the parking lot, I'm already stretching my, my calf muscles. So as I pedal my bike, I'm putting my foot on the pedal like this and I'm bending my heel down to stretch my Achilles. I do it very slowly as I ride and I warm my Achilles up as I come down. And then when I eventually get to the parking lot, I don't just hop on my bike and start throwing down and doing tricks or whatever. But what I do is I actually just start to stretch. So what I do is I'll take my arms like this. These are just basic stretches, nothing crazy. But at the very minimum, if you do these stretches, your body will give you a better result in your riding. First of all, you need to be able to have that, that ability to react quickly. And if your body's super tense, super tight you can't do that so i make sure my body is nice and relaxed so one of them is i just grab my shoulder like this you've all seen this grab your shoulder pull it back towards your neck do that for a few minutes grab the other side do the same reach over the top like this grab your hand pull your elbow down and you can feel it tight back there and as it's tight it starts to loosen up and go a little bit further, a little bit further. And I do the same on both. And my whole life I've been stretching, so I'm able to actually be able to bend down and touch the ground with my fingers and even my knuckles. This stretch really helps me out. I've been doing it for many, many years. What it does is it stretches my lower back muscles and my lower buttocks muscles and it allows me to be a lot a lot more loose than I would normally be. And then I come down and I just simply bend down like this. Bend down. And uh, I don't recommend bouncing, but I bounce a little bit. But I just bounce a little bit just so I can feel it loosening up. So I'll do this whole entire routine a couple of times. I'll stand up over the top this way, over the top this way, this way, this way. I'll bend down. Touch my toes till this gets a little bit loose. And then I'll bend down like this. And I'll stretch my, my upper thighs and my lower back. And then when I know that I'm ready to ride is when everything is loose, it starts to feel good, and you're not super, super tight and tense. So that's what I do. I start my ride off every single day. If anyone knows me, before I even start riding, they'll see me in the parking lot by myself and I'm stretching and I'm preparing to have a good ride. And I find that when I stretch, I get to ride a lot longer and way more successful than when I don't do it. I've heard stories and, and I know guys that will probably pop up and tell you about them, tell you about their, their injuries where they just hopped on the bike and tore this or tore that. So stretching is vital. This is what I do. I suggest that you do it if you're 40 and above Stretch before you ride because you want to continue to ride. You want to just ride, go out there, get hurt, and find yourself not, e not able to w ride or work. So this is what I do. I do it uh, every time I go out and ride. So I suggest that you guys do it too. Little helpful tip. Little helpful tip from the chairman. Just wanted to throw it out there. Uh, it works great for me. So have a great day. Hope you do it. Stretch, you guys. Okay? Peace.